It's Sunday morning here in the Czech Republic, and along with a small group of other travel bloggers, I've been given the opportunity to go on a four-day tour they call Finding Your Peace in the Bohemian Paradise, and I'm so looking forward to that. My name is Palabo. This is the Radio Vagabond Podcast. Meet Palabo a full-time traveler and digital nomad from Denmark on an epic journey around the world. This is The Radio Vagabond. The main reason I went to the Czech Republic at this time was TBEX, a conference for travel bloggers and other travel content creators like me. In their conferences around the world, they have interesting keynote speakers and useful workshops. In fact, I did one about starting a travel podcast. It took place in Ostrova, a small city in the eastern part of the country, and not the capital Prague like one might think. A quick side note, I say Ostrova because that's what the locals do. But most English-speaking people say Ostrava. I asked one of the locals working in the travel industry, and he said that they don't care what we say, just as long as we visit And I can highly recommend you do. It's a nice little city in a beautiful area. And I'm actually glad that it's here because I've been to Prague many times before. And even though it's a wonderful, beautiful and historical city, it was great to see another part of the country. And after the conference, I got to see even more. You see, I was invited on a press trip in the Liberic region in the northern part of the country. They called the trip Finding Your Peace in a bohemian paradise. So that's also the reason for this weird title of this episode. A quick disclaimer, even though this is a press trip where I was invited, obviously in the hope that I would say something nice about the region, I won't say anything I don't mean. Everything I say in this episode is my own genuine opinion. My name is Pala Bo, and this is The Radio Vagabond, supported in part by Hotels25.com. I use it to find the best deals on hotels, hostels, and guest houses anywhere in the world. I use it because I like saving time and money. But that's just me, right? Hotels25.com And now, facts about where we are. Facts about where we are. The Czech Republic is also called by its short-form name, Czechia. It's a landlocked country in Central Europe and is bordered by Austria to the south, Germany to the west, Poland to the northeast and Slovakia to the east. The country ranks 10th most peaceful country in the world according to the 2019 Global Peace Index. The country has the most castles in Europe, more than 2,000. Beer is a big deal in the Czech Republic. Czech people are the world's heaviest consumers of beer. The world's first pale lager, Pilsner Urkel, was brewed in the Czech city Pilsen in 1842. Soft contact lenses was invented by a Czech chemist in 1959. The world famous Skoda Auto is based in the Czech Republic. Their cars are sold in over 100 countries. And that was Facts About Where We Are. Despite being the second smallest region in the Czech Republic, the Liberich region is well known for local glass and jewelry and romantic sceneries provided by rock towns and a mountain range. The Liberich region lies in the north of the Czech Republic, bordering to Poland and Germany. Okay, so I think uh, we may start with the tour right now. Uh, before I tell you anything about the place that we're standing in right now, you should know at least something about the history of this place. On the first day, we went just outside the region's capital, also called Liberich, to the top of Jested Hill. It's got a stunning view and a very unique round building, containing both a hotel and a very unique TV transmitter on the roof. It's considered the dominating feature of Liberich and the whole region. Our main guide on this tour is Eva Hornova. Eva, can you tell me where are we now? Uh, now we are on Jeschet. 
It's on a Yeshtet. Yeshtet, great. And this is the highest peak of uh, the Czech Republic. Not the highest, okay. but the symbol of the uh, Liberec region. So the best one yeah, from and, the Liberec region. And we drove up a, a narrow road here up into the mountains and... This building is just amazing, and you tell me that there are hotel rooms in the tower? Yeah, it's a hotel, it's also a TV transmitter, and it's also a restaurant. Yeah, I, b- I bet that hotel is uh, fully booked all the time. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Not, not the cheapest hotel? No, but it's a good idea like for a present or something so, yeah. for anniversary. Yeah. But if you want to stay here, you have to book them um, two years before you oh, want to go. Wow. And, and we're uh, about 100 kilometers north of Prague or something like that? Yeah, one hour by car or yeah, by bus from yeah. Prague. And a lot of people go to Prague, but not that many people get out of Prague and go up here, and they should. Yeah, definitely. This is the best region to visit them. After our visit, Eva asked us if we would like to come back early the next morning to see the sunrise. And since she said that it would be spectacular, most of us said yes, even though it meant that we needed to leave the hotel at 4.30 a.m. We're back at Yesjet uh, Mountain, where we were yesterday. But this time it's super early in the morning. As you might be able to hear just before, um, we're up here and uh, a guy just uh, took off with his drone doing some amazing shots of uh, the sunrise and that is what we're here for we're here to see the sunrise um, uh, from this mountaintop and my god already now it's so beautiful the sky is uh, turning slightly red now the sun will come up in about 17 18 minutes and um, it's very good it's a little bit windy and a little bit more chilly than it was yesterday, but that's just fine. Travel is possible at any age. Your sense of adventure is just over the horizon. So, reach out and grab it. This is The Radio Vagabond. After breakfast back at the hotel, we went to see something this region of the Czech Republic is famous for, glass art. Now it's after breakfast and uh, we've reached the next thing we're going to see. And this is a glass gallery. And uh, I see the building in front of me now. And uh, and then there's a garden with a lot of art. And it's all made out of glass. I see over there there's even a fairly big tree. Uh, And... uh, and, and and a lot of glass sculptures that look a lot like like plants. Uh, this one in front of me uh, is um, pink and purple and blue and transparent and uh, looks like almost like a, a, a lot of s- snakes growing up from from the ground. This is hard to describe. I'll take a I'll take a photo uh, or a few photos that I'll. I'll put on the radiovagabond.com so you can see it. This looks amazing. The place is called Pashinek Glass and is named after a master glassmaker, Yiri Pashinek. Well, names are difficult in Czech, so I asked Eva just to be sure. Try it. <laughs> Yiri? Yeah, great. Not, not Jiri. It's y- a Yiri, Yiri, but Yiri is Yiri. 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 Yeah. And... Uh, Great, Pachinek, yeah. It's a Yeti Pachinek. Anyway, this talented glass artist craftsman is truly a master and captivating many glass art collectors, museums and admirers around the world. Besides his own creations, he cooperates with several world artists and designers. The garden is very unique. None of these glass flowers and plants can be found and seen anywhere else in the world than right here. You can come and see it anytime throughout the day. And you should, since the garden looks differently in a daybreak, in the midday sun, or at sunset. And there are new glass plants appearing every year. The glass garden is open year-long, you don't need to book, and the entrance is free. Find the links in the show notes. Now we're entering the glass factory, and... uh it's very hot in here, and uh, there's a guy standing blowing into a tube. 
down to sort of an um, yeah, what looks like an oil pit from a, 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 a an auto a garage, uh, and another guy is, is is down there. It must be super super hot down there. Um, he's blowing into into a glass. Whoa, a big one! He's coming up there. Now it's our turn to try blowing. <laughs> this is just um, a very, very tiny, tiny piece uh, on on the end of a smaller stick than the one that we're using before. But um, it's going to be fun to try. There's a piece of glass there that's been in the in the oven and uh, and um, it's it's burning hot right now and uh, the. The glass artist in front of me is uh, shaping it right now, and he's doing the be- beginning blows. I think that's the most tricky part of it. And then the glass maker hands me a tube with a small piece of melted glass on the end, and I start blowing gently and turning it slowly so gravity won't make it drop to the floor. The rest of the group is standing in a circle around me, looking very impressed. I could feel them thinking. Hey, that radio guy is really a professional glass artist. He kept that a secret for a long time. But then the bubble burst. Literally. The things I do to get a sound effect on my podcast. Apparently I blew too hard and uh, the whole thing just burst. Like a balloon, if you blow it up too hard, and uh, yeah. So here we are, glass on the floor. Have you ever wondered what the places in this podcast actually look like? I have. So I started following the Radio Vagabond on Instagram simply by searching Radio Vagabond. Now we're in a in a small microbrewery. Uh, and going for beer tasting and after after being uh, in in that hot glass workshop uh, this is exactly what i need right now nice timing hello as i mentioned before Czechs are famous for its beer and this small microbrewery is called Shvikov brewery we're uh, lucky today because uh, this is the day that they are cooking the beer here in this uh, microbrewery so right now we're walking up a lot of steps that's why I'm a bit out of breath and here we are the beginnings of brewing beer here in Shvikov dates back to 1560 when a privilege was granted to brew wheat beer and produce malt uh, the first time the beer was produced in Shvikov in 16th century particularly in the uh, year uh, 1560. And at that, at that place, uh, the brewery was open at the end of the 19th century. They continued making beer uh, right here for more than 400 day, uh, years, but in 1968, uh, they shut down. And after the Second World War, uh, in uh, 20 years, the brewery was uh, closed. First, after nearly half a century of nothing, an entrepreneur bought the devastated complex in 2013 and brought the tradition back. The brewery was open again four years ago. And uh, you can see the, uh, the brewery as it was uh, for the closing. Life is short and there is so much to explore. I won't let a second go to waste. Yeah, time The next day, after a wonderful breakfast, we started at the Regional Art Gallery Liebridge. 
Not only is it an interesting gallery and exhibition, but it's also in a very beautiful building. It's day three of our uh, our tour here of the uh, Liberich region. Did I say that right, Eva? Uh, yeah, Liberich region. Liberich region, Liberich yeah. Region, and uh, we, we started at an art museum, and uh, the art was, of course, great, but the building itself was uh, uh, an old swimming uh, wellness uh, spa. Yeah, it was the city spa for the people from Liberec uh, and uh, surrounding uh, of uh, 19th century. And now is the Hyoto Gallery. So, so what time do you think that it, it stopped being a spa? It was the, in the 80s of 20th century. Okay, okay, and now it's uh, it's built into an art uh, art gallery. It was it, it was, was truly truly beautiful yeah. and uh, and like a labyrinth. You can go in anywhere, and there are both uh, photos and uh, and and paintings and sculptures and a whole lot more. There are great exhibitions about uh, Dutch painteries, uh, also about German uh, painters, and uh, so temporary exhibitions about photography and so on and mm. so on. Yeah. Uh, and if, if 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 people come to this region, I'll put a link in the show notes so they can find <laughs> this because uh, it, it's truly beautiful. And then we went just, just a. Are we going down here? Okay. Um, then we went just a little bit, and uh, now we're in a in a in a beautiful botanical garden, and and we went into this is sort of a greenhouse. Yeah, uh, it's our botanical garden, and it is the oldest one in the Czech Republic. It was uh, 1919 opened, so it's really, really old, mm. but the biggest and the best in the Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, and and there's there are a, a lot of animals as well inside this uh, this greenhouse and uh, aquariums and. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see your shark, sh- mm-hmm. uh, turtles, and so on. Yeah. Nemo's is also here. Yeah, I saw the Nemo's. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nemo is uh, in where, where, where was, this, was the shark? I, I didn't see that. The small one. It's not the biggest one, but the small one. Okay. Is in this okay. And you can go to uh, Safari, Australia part, uh, South America part, and the best one, I think now is the uh, water lily. Victoria is one of the biggest. Yeah. It it almost reminds me. Now we're getting into the aquarium uh, area. It almost reminds me a little bit about my hometown because we have uh, something that's called Randa's Rainforest, uh, which yeah. is a tropical zoo, and uh, there's also uh, different domes for different areas. Yeah. Oh, that's this the small. Yeah, that's okay. Small I, I wouldn't it's be really scared small. of that. <laughs> no, it's 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 like. Um, how much is uh, 30 yeah, centimeters? Ten, maybe? ten inchers, um, <laughs> twenty centimeters, uh, yeah, twenty-five maybe. maybe. So yeah. No, it, 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 does, it does not look scary. No, <laughs> no, no. It, uh, no. <laughs> and this afternoon, uh, you told me that you were taking us to make jewelry. Yeah, you have to uh, try make your own necklaces and so on for the, for the, for the earring and so. I don't. Know I what will to look do. so pretty. Yeah, like a good <laughs> model. So, afternoon, I would like to see that. <laughs> On the way to the botanical garden, we had lunch at a restaurant called Restaurant Sue 1320. I mention this because it's a very nice, beautiful restaurant, and I highly recommend that you go there if you're in this area. Not only is the food good, but the decor of this restaurant is something that's very unique. Remember that you can find links to everything on the radiovagabond.com. And then we head to Palace Plus, the largest jewelry shop in Central Europe. It's 700 square meters, 7,500 square feet, and they sell more than 4,500 styles of jewelry. So you are at the Palace Plus, which is the what we call the jewelry center. The owner is a union of uh, glass and jewelry manufacturers. I am so-called president. After an introduction to the place by the president, we had a chance to design our own necklace, bracelet or bearded earrings. So here I was, threading beads in the Czech Republic. Now that's a first. At the time of my visit to the Czech Republic, it was very hot. So I had not expected what came next. Bobsledding. That's in a minute. When the program continues, stay with us. The ultimate destination for armchair travelers who are looking for inspiration to get out into the real world and let loose their wanderlust. This is The Radio Vagabond. 
Gotta keep moving. I would love to hear from you. And now there's a new and very simple way for you to send me a voice message. It's a cool little web-based app called Telby. And all you need to do is click on the banner on the radiovagabond.com where it says talk to me. And then just talk. Tell me where you are and what you're doing while you're listening to this. It's super simple. And one of the cool things is that you can listen to it and redo it if you're not happy with it before you click send. Please, please try that. I get a small soundbite that I can play here on the show. And it's always wonderful to hear from you guys. You can, of course, also fill out the form under contact on the website. Okay, we're back in the Czech Republic. And this time at a more fun and action-packed place than where I was when I left you. Again, I'll need to have Eva help me pronounce where we are. How do you say that? Vigand? Vigand? Sommerodenl Bahn. Bobová Draha. Okay, that's where we are yeah. now. Okay, uh, we're in a place called... Janov nad Nisou. Yeah, and uh, this is where we're going riding a bobsled um, in the middle of the hot summer right here in, in the Czech Republic and it's sort of a small cart here with a with a brake stick uh, that you have between your legs and uh, it looks like a bobsledding uh, course uh, like you see in the uh, in the Winter Olympics but uh, this one is uh, of course without snow so it's just made out of uh, stainless steel And I saw uh, an, a, a picture of it from, from above, and it looks just amazing. And here's some kids coming down now, and I feel just like a kid right now. This is so exciting. Yay! Yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel, guys? Awesome. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for being so enthusiastic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You can follow Paula Bo on his Facebook page. Join the conversation about traveling and being a digital nomad. You can also see pictures, videos, and stories that don't necessarily make it into the podcast. Simply search for the Radio Vagabond. Okay, now we're being pulled up. Uh, I thought we were going to walk all the way up here, but no, we're just being pulled up here and uh, it's a small track um, just the size of my butt and uh, here I am being pulled up and now uh, when we get to the top I'm they're just gonna let go and uh, going super fast down in curves and left and right and uh, ah, it's gonna be fun <laughs> Okay, I'm nearly at the top now. So the place is called Bobova Draha, link in the show notes. And it was so much fun feeling like a 10-year-old kid for a bit. I don't really know if... Okay, here it says slow down. Uh, I need to keep a distance to Washa, who's in front of me. Uh, the Indian girl. I think she's breaking a whole lot more than it was my plan to do. And as I'm heading down, it's also time to say goodbye to Liberich in the Czech Republic and also the last episode of this season from Europe. I've got a fun clip in a few seconds of me trying to speak Czech again, so don't skip the rest. And then I'll tell you where you can find me next on the Radio Vagabond. As always, the Radio Vagabond is partly supported by Hotels25.com. You know, it's a cool way to find the best deals on a place to stay. And when you use it, I get a few pennies, which is something that only barely covers the cost of hosting this podcast. As you probably can guess during the pandemic, it's been absolutely nothing. But money is not the reason I do this podcast. And I promise you, I will still keep doing it. Only please remember to try it out next time you're going anywhere. Hopefully in the not-so-far-away future. Hotels25.com. Best price guaranteed. Also, please tell a friend about this podcast. But only if you like it, and only a friend that likes to travel. That will mean the world to me. 
you are the best. I must say that it was great to see another part of the Czech Republic that I hadn't been to before. I hope it inspired you to head north after your next visit to Prague. The only thing that's difficult about this country is how to pronounce the different places. I'm going to leave you with Eva trying to teach me some more local names. So the place, was it Palace Plus? Yeah. So it's plus. Yes, plus. And, it's, and the, this is the city. Yeah, Jablonec nad Niso is the city. Jablonec nad Niso. Jablonec nad Niso. Nad Niso. Nad Niso. Jablonec. Jablonec. Lab. Jablonec. Jablonec. Nets. 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 Yeah, Jablonec. Um, and now we're at the Kralovka. Kralovka. Yeah. Kralovka. 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 Yeah. Kralovka. Lock. Lockout tower. Lockout. Yeah. Okay. And tonight we're going to chalet. Uh, Pre- Presidentska, like a president. The president's palace. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, okay, chalet Presidentska. Thank you to Visit Liberich for inviting me on this wonderful press trip and to Eva Ornova for being such a nice person and for teaching me how to speak Czech fluently. Well, sort of. Now I'm heading back across the Atlantic Ocean for yet another road trip of the US. I'm going to visit all six states in New England and a whole lot more. We start in Boston and I'm so looking forward to that. My name is Palapo and I gotta keep moving. See ya!